Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I designed this 3D logo keyboard in Adobe Illustrator. If you're new here, I'm Tyler, AKA Tylee Talk. And currently I want to say thank you for 25,000 subscribers, maybe even more than that by the time this video comes out. On my channel, I like to design, redesign and critique logos and do all kinds of stuff with design. So if you like that kind of thing, please feel free to subscribe. This video, I'm going to be showcasing a five part series that I did over on TikTok, where I basically designed this 3D logo keyboard from scratch. You'll see everything from how I initially started this project to my thought process throughout the whole thing until the very end. I got a lot of feedback from commenters along the way, so things change and I put things in different places. But overall, I'm so happy with how this turned out and here's how I did it. I'm gonna show you how I started making my 3D logo keyboard. So I start by downloading all my logos and putting them into Illustrator and making them into vectors. You do this by going to the image trace window, selecting color, hitting trace, then you go to object, image trace, expand. So I did this for all the logos that I wanted. Then in the 3D and materials panel, I played around with everything until the shadows and the placement looked correct. I found this generic picture of a keyboard and I traced all the shapes on that using the shape tool. Next was just to start replacing some of those shapes with the vectors of the logos that I made. Once I did all that, I made sure to group it all. Then I just copy and pasted the 3D appearance from the one I made earlier onto this group. It took a long time to render, but here's the final result. I think this looks so cool. These are all the ones I could get to today, but definitely let me know in the comments which logos you think should fill the other keys. Bonus points if you can figure out which logo to use for the space bar. This is part two of me making my 3D logo keyboard. So just like in the last one, in Illustrator, I started by putting all the logos into it and turning them into vectors. You do this by going to Window, Image Trace, changing it to Color, and hitting Trace. Once that finishes, you go to Object, Image Trace, hit Expand, and then you have a vector of all of your shapes. So I did that for all the logos I wanted in here, and thank you for all the people who suggested last time. I think the one that I love the most is the idea of using Space X as the space bar. Once I did all the logos I wanted this time, I put them all into the keyboard template that I made last time, replacing them with the different keys, and then grouping it all together once it was done. I saw a suggestion to change around some of them so that like the F in Facebook was where the F key was. So I changed those in my initial template as well. To give them that 3D look, you go to Window, 3D, and Materials, and then I inflated them and played around with the different placement and lighting. So since I already had the template from last time, all I have to do is copy and paste it onto it again, let it render. Unfortunately, this rendering process is starting to take a long time. I actually almost watched an entire episode of Euphoria before it was done rendering. But once it's done, here's the final result. I am loving how this looks. I love the Space X bar, and I really love how the Coca-Cola one and the Best Buy one turned out as well. Let me know which ones are your favorites in the comments and which ones I should do for part three. Part three of making our 3D logo keyboard in Adobe Illustrator. So as usual, I start by making all the logos into vectors. I pull them into Illustrator, open the image trace window and turn that to color and hit trace. Once that's done, you go to object, image trace, expand, and then you have your vectors. Next, I put all the vectors into the keyboard that I made the first time, replacing all the keys with the new logos, and I group all that once it's done. Now to make them look 3D, use the 3D and appearances window. You can basically play around with this, and I always set it to isometric top to give it that side view. I didn't actually have to do this step for this one because I have the presets from last time, so I copied and pasted that over, and here's the final result. My TikTok mutual Brave Dave recommended using the Xbox logo for the X, and I love how that looks. Some of my other favorites are the little Android logo, and the YouTube play button is the perfect tab key. We have about 23 spaces left, so definitely let me know what logos I should use for part four. This is part four of making my 3D logo keyboard. On this one, I saw a lot of people requesting the Duncan logo as well as the Pringles guy. I also thought it'd be cool to use the Adobe logo as the A since I'm doing all this in Adobe Illustrator. So as usual, I start off by making all my logos into vectors. You do this by going to the image trace panel, selecting color and trace, and then going to object, image trace, expand. Once I did that for all of them, I copied them and pasted them into my original document, I ungrouped my previous one, and I started replacing the keys on the keyboard I'd made with the new logos. To make them look 3D, go to the 3D and materials panel, I hit inflate, made it isometric top, and just played around with everything until it looked how I wanted it. Now since I'd already done that in the past ones, all I had to do was copy and paste the last appearances, and I let it render. The rendering is starting to take so long. Here's a list of things you could do while it's rendering. Watch an entire episode of Euphoria. Adopt a brand new cat. Study for the bar. Adopt another cat. The list goes on and on. Finally, it was done. This particular corner over here is looking extremely delicious for some reason, and I love how the Pringles guy looks. 
We only have 10 spots left, so definitely let me know which logos you want to see in the final part. This is my fifth and final part of making my 3D logo keyboard. So I got a lot of comments on my last video with suggestions for keys, but also people were really mad that the keyboard wasn't fully in order of the normal QWERTY keyboard. So I rearranged that, leaving only the Q, E, Y, O, H, J, and Z unaccounted for. So I went ahead and found logos for all of those and brought them into Illustrator to turn them into vectors. You do this by going to the Image Trace panel, selecting Color, and hitting trace. Then you go to object, image trace, expand. Once I had those, I just had to copy and paste them into my original document and replace the keys there with the new ones. I did have three extra spaces on the keyboard, so I decided to do two favorites that I saw a lot of in the comments, as well as my profile picture that I made to kind of be my signature in the bottom. Then all I had to do was make them 3D. You do this by going to the 3D and materials panel, selecting inflate, and playing around with the settings and lighting until you find the one that you're happy with. Since I already had the presets for my last one, all I had to do was copy and paste that over and let it render. As per last time, the render is taking extremely long. If you're trying to kill time, I'd recommend having a debate with your friends over if there's more doors on this planet or wheels. Obviously, I'm Team Wheels. That should hold you over until it's finally done rendering. And with that complete, here's the final result. I love how it turned out. And I think having it in order was actually a really great move. And I'm currently in the works of figuring out how it can actually be 3D printed in the real world. So stay tuned for that in the future. And let me know which keys are your favorite in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that video, please subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and let me know in the comments which one's your favorite key and if you have any ideas for more 3D stuff in the future.